sure you can. <laughs> well, we're scratching my pupils. <laughs> hey, babes. Welcome back to our channel. So today it did not go as planned. So unfortunately, we're here. it did not go as planned. Doing this, <laughs> we were supposed to go rollerblading, well, drunk rollerblading, and then it didn't end up happening <laughs> because the place where we were supposed to go rollerblading was reserved for a party, and we were ready, party. we went all the way over there. Now it's like freaking late at night. What time is it like? Oh, it's, it's about 10. to be 11. Yeah. And the place was hella far. It was in Glendale. We live in West Covina, so it was such a bitch for us to come back. But we didn't want to waste a day, so this is what we're going to end up doing. We're going to rate Taco Bell's tacos. I'm just kidding or not. So we're going to have a story time slash mukbang. With Taco Bell. Yes. We're going to be telling you guys like crazy ex-boyfriend stories. So... Stay tuned for that. Yeah, or just anything that comes to our head because we're also going to be drinking. Yeah. So without further ado, bon appetit. <laughs> and we have our wine glasses from the last time we were drinking wine. If you guys seen that video, you guys know we couldn't fucking open the bottle. It's still there, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ever since that, we've been getting DMs on like hacks on how to open wine bottles. <laughs> we we have like the layer. I know. Oh, yeah. We should try it. We still have the bottle. The corkscrew is still stuck in it. I kind of want this today, so <laughs> instead of the wine, the wine is like yeah. big shit, you know. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's enough. I this. think that's enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That's a lot. So that's mine. That is yours. <laughs> <laughs> this combination is actually really good. It's so, so well. Oh, it smells so strong. So, welcome back to another episode of Drinking with Alo and Ew. Bon appetit. So I'm just going to start off with like a really silly story that I was telling Trey a couple days ago and then he was even shook he was like <laughs> i know i was shook because you had told I me i knew you were shook no but you didn't tell me you would fan girl yeah <laughs> okay so for those who don't know i've been knowing who alondra was for like years she used to be facebook famous i don't know if you guys knew who she was on facebook but she used to take like really really cute selfies like there would be all over Tumblr, all over Facebook. I knew her name was Alondra Desi, but like I had no idea who she was. I didn't even know. I just knew that you live like in a Southgate Downey HP area. On I found my location. Because mm -hmm. I, I remember like back in the day, like in Facebook days, like Downey and Southgate and HP, like those cities were known for having really pretty girls and really cute guys. It was like those scene days where like people mm -hmm. used to shuffle and all that. There was a lot of Facebook famous people that were from Southgate. Downing and all them, and homegirl was one of them. <laughs> they were embarrassing that selfie, so I'm I'm so embarrassed by them. They were so cute, like they were all over Tumblr. But I knew who Alondra was because of those selfies, and I remember I would I was following her. I don't know, I had her as a friend, but I added her, and I would like literally fan girl over her. I would just admire her pictures, and I thought she was so pretty. Like, oh, and then you. I would see her on Tumblr, and I would be like. Then this bitch is really pretty. <laughs> like I would fan girl over her, and I and it's also funny because now I know her. <laughs> we live together. And now we live together. And then um like Facebook ended up dying. Like Facebook ended up dying, so everybody hopped on Instagram, and I had no idea what happened to her. I deactivated my Facebook. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I remember like two years or even more or even less. I don't know. Um, like two years or so passed and then I found her on Instagram I found her on Instagram and I was just like holy shit this is the same girl that I used to find a girl oh over my God. I was just like I remember her selfies I remember her face I remember everything because you looked exactly the same like remember from O3 Fash I started following her and I started spamming you I noticed your per I noticed you on your personal page though when you like followed me on your personal page I was like oh my god she's like instagram famous oh my god i was like her outfits they're on fleek <laughs> and then like after i found her on o3 i hopped on my personal and then that's when i started spamming you to my personal that's when i started fangirling over here <laughs> i remember i sent my sister a screenshot and i was just like oh look this is the girl i used to fangirl over on facebook and i was just oh like she started following me back she was just like oh you should tell her to come in and take pictures for us for o3 so i was just like okay like, I'm gonna see if she wants to. And then, <laughs> it makes me laugh because knowing how she is today, like, I feel so bad for making you take those pictures. I know, I don't know how I had the freaking boss to even go meet you. 
Because I'm like a super shy person. If someone tells me, like, come meet me, I will not fucking go. It'll take me a whole year until I go meet you. So, and then when the, the first time you hit me up, I was like, okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> I know. I, to me, I thought it was normal because I don't know how you were. No, yeah, but I'm super shy. But now that I know her, like, I'm like, damn, I made you take those pictures. Like, to this day, I just find that story so funny because I'm just like, I used to find go over her. It's like you meeting a celebrity and then like, you end up moving with them. With them. Like, Anyways, this was back then when I had like 50 or 70k, remember? When like mm -hmm. we first found out about each other. You had 70 I, I had like, 2k. Uh-huh. Yes. I remember everything. Oh my, yes, I had 72k. So they believed in me back then when I had like no followers. They like brought me into the store. That's why I was shook as fuck. I was like... Little old me. <laughs> you want you want me to take pictures? I remember when me and my sister first seen her. We were like, this girl has so much potential to be someone so huge on Instagram. Like, boy, you not. <laughs> she didn't just take advantage of her looks because she was just so pretty. So I'm just like, and I was also curious to see what she did for a living. <clears throat> Let me prepare myself to say my speech. <laughs> So back then when she had messaged me, I was working at a regular job. I was working two jobs actually. I was a freelance makeup artist for Chanel and I was working in fragrances. So I don't even know how I had the time to like my life completely changed ever since I met her because when I met her, no, actually when we first moved in, I still had my like regular jobs and mm -hmm. she pushed me to quit my two jobs. I'm such a bad person. <laughs> no, because now I'm like, my life is amazing right now. <laughs> <laughs> she pushed me to like quit my two jobs to do social media full time a lot of you guys always wonder what i do like for a living and i do social media like i do instagram paid posts and like youtube so that's what i do for a living and it's all thanks to her she like really pushed me to my limit i push know it, push it to <laughs> the limit limit because we're in it to win wait have you heard that song? no from disney channel oh i thought it was from my carly <laughs> when um yeah when we first moved in she was working both of her jobs and then i kind of made her quit um first you first made me quit chanel uh -huh. and then i remember she was so like hesitant to quit that job because they, they used to pay you really good no yeah it was a really good paying job for like it being my first job it was like amazing pay mm -hmm. and i couldn't let go of it i was like so attached to that job <laughs> and i remember i would somehow like just tell her like man like if you do this she like, will bribe me <laughs> I'm like, I'll buy you this, I'll buy you that. <laughs> we need a little show, your mom, you live. I know. I'll buy you a house. <laughs> I'm like, if you want, we can move to a different apartment. I'm a like fucking dead. And then she ended up quitting Chanel. And then, like, I want to say it wasn't even like a whole month. It was it like wasn't, weeks. It was yeah. Weeks is when um we had just finished taking pictures for Instagram. Mm hmm. And then she would, and then I remember, and she was in the living room, and she was just like, "Fuck, I don't know if I should go to work today." And I was just like, "Why don't you just quit?" Like, I know. I take care of you. I, <laughs> I take care of you for free. <laughs> and that's literally what happened. I remember that day. You text your your manager. My boss. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I can't go in today. I can't. I could no longer work for you. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. I have a sugar mama now. <laughs> Yeah, when she quit her job. Oh, uh, that same day I quit my job and and that's how she became my sugar baby. Ah! And then now we're here filming YouTube videos for you guys. So I definitely give Alondra props for quitting her job Thank because you. imagine if she was still because she was busy twenty four seven. I know. I feel like I would barely have days off. I would work like every single day. So that's how basically the story behind us goes and then the story behind her being on social media but things have definitely changed because when we first moved in together she was in a relationship i was like a freshly like off a relationship it wasn't it was like if i was off that relationship though oh, i wasn't true. really in a relationship mm -hmm. it was like it was just complicated yeah i wouldn't call it a relationship <laughs> yeah because your parents didn't know about him <laughs> yeah my parents never met him and i i dated him for like i've never years. met a student before either really i've never seen him in prison that's how you know he wasn't important <laughs> speaking of exes i have a little story for you guys so i'm gonna tell you about my first like serious boyfriend he was a psycho i don't know how the hell i like fell in love with him the relationship was so toxic but i was so in love with him i remember when we ended things like he would go so psycho he would literally break into my house 
just to come talk to me. I was so scared. I was scared for my freaking life. And I remember when he broke into my house, I was hella scared. I was like, I'm gonna call the cops. I was like, and he was so scared of my dad. And I called my dad and he like fucking lived. Oh, hell no. And is that how you guys ended the relationship? Hell yeah, I, ne I never saw him ever again after that. I was like, this guy is a psycho. I don't know. I was scared of him. I'm still scared of him to this day. Hey, I don't think I've ever, ever had that happen to me. Because really? I don't think... I, well, all of my exes, I feel like they... First of all, they're bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Except for, for Wooly. Mm. He's still the homie. <laughs> Wooly, he'll forever be the homie. He's and, super cool. Yeah. He's so nice to you. My mom loves him, so he's here to stay, but... He's here to stay as an ex, so... <laughs> <laughs> don't get mad at me. <laughs> but other than that... I don't think I've ever had an ex that did something like her ex did. If you guys have crazy ex-boyfriend stories, let us know down in the comments because those are real entertaining to hear and to read. So let us know. Put that fucker on blast down below. Why do you say all your exes are bitches? Did you like not get along with them? Well, it's not that I didn't get along with them. It's just they were all like typical South Central guys. Because I was like raised and born in South Central. And then like, if anybody who lives in South Central, we all know that all the guys are fuckboys. Like, they're just not guys that you want to date. Really? No. Because you were raised where? Like in... In HP? In HP. It's around the like Southgate area. Mm -hmm. What other cities around there? Because you aren't actually that far from South Central. Yeah, I don't think it's far. So you probably had fuckboys in your city too. <laughs> There's fuckboys Hell everywhere. Hell yeah! <laughs> Everyone from like Southgate and HP, no offense, they're fuckboys. Yeah, and all of my exes are from South Central. There's a reason why we ended things. You get me? Like, they're bitches. <laughs> they're bitches and they're dogs and they're typical South Central guys. But don't get me wrong, I'm not talking shit about South Central. South Central is my home at heart. To this day, I still go there to visit some friends. I know that shit is dangerous and it's you see it on the news all the time. But I think that's where I was about to get beat up for that parking. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking. I start quick walking every time I see a laundry. I'm like. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know how to grip on. Me either. So like, it's just funny when you said it. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe that's why I have an accent. Cause a lot of people tell me I have an accent, but I don't know. There's pesitas in South Central too, so I just happen to be one of them. <laughs> people Maybe always tell like, me yeah. that I they have a pesita accent. They always like if, tell me that too. Like if I don't know how to speak um English, English correctly. I'm like, I went to schools in South Central, so maybe that's why. Yeah. Like, they didn't fucking teach me good. <laughs> and in HP, it's all Hispanic. Oh, like, yeah. The majority oh, fuck, yeah. of people in there are Hispanic, so <laughs> maybe that's why I have an accent. And my first language was Spanish, too, so. So please bear with us because I came from a very Hispanic city, so I have an excuse. And I'm just chunty. That's <laughs> my excuse. <laughs> I can speak Spanish or English. What do I speak? <laughs> I speak Chunti. <laughs> I can't do English nor Spanish. My first language New is language. Chunti. Chunti. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Because <laughs> someone told me they were like, oh my god, you don't know how to speak English. Just stop. And I'm like, what do I speak then? <laughs> Peter Piker, when they do the tongue twister, can you oh, Peter Piker? I stutter like a motherfucker. I me too. Do. I don't know why I stutter so much. It's like an actual thing for me though. It got passed on to me, so. We I have both, an excuse. Ah! We both stutter so much. It's, I guess so embarrassing. Hell yeah. People who fucking know me from high school, middle school, elementary, when I was born, you guys know I have a stuttering problem. And it's not something that I can't control. It's something that I was passed on to me from my grandpa. So. Speaking of school, I used to have like really bad anxiety to the point where I wouldn't care if I build a class. Like when you had to do those like presentations in front of, oh, the, like class. Front of the class. I remember I used to get super bad, bad anxiety that I would be like I would be like I don't even care like just tell me I'm not going to present in front of class oh because you would think that you would stutter first of all I would stutter second of all people would always make fun of my teeth because they used to have gaps in every single tooth oh. like in every single tooth and I already knew people were just gonna talk shit so I was like you know what I'm gonna just follow the class because you used to tell me that people used to bully you in high school right in high no it was more in middle school and elementary elementary was so bad they used to always make fun of my teeth 
because you know how I had like gaps in every single tooth they would be like oh what do you floss with the mattress because my <laughs> gap was that big like it was just Holy fuck. a really bad experience at school so did you ever get bullied in school mm -hmm. yeah I remember my freshman year I went to manual arts I don't know what grade. I think she was a sophomore and I was a freshman. I remember there was this girl and like her group of girlfriends. Like I remember like there were just there was just those type of girls were like, well that school in general was like this. It was just full of a lot of kids with no filter. And I remember this like, specific girl. Obviously I put that on like my nephew's life. Like I didn't even look at her wrong because she was just one of those girls where like if you look at me dirty, like I'm gonna go fight you. Like, oh she was those type of bitches. I remember she wanted to fight me so bad because of that. Mm -hmm. Like during our break, she would tell me, oh, after fourth period, meet me in the restroom. And I used to be like, oh man. Oh, oh man, did you ever fight? Basically? No. Oh, I, I, I never went. I was just like. <laughs> but I think she ended up like, leaving that school. And then it's funny because I tweeted about this like a year ago. Because she ended up DMing me on Instagram. She did? Yeah. yeah. She was like, I still want to fight though. <laughs> She, I remember she ended up dating me saying, oh, like, you've come a long way, I will see you haven't seen since high school. I was shook as I was just like, I'm like, a bitch, didn't you forget you wanted these hands in high school? I didn't even respond to her, I just declined her message. I was just like, she's like, anyways, how can I get on your peer list? <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I was on your shit list in high school. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Mm. I think one thing that we, Alondra and I, like, would definitely like like to spread on YouTube is like anti-bullying because that's one thing that both of us went through through high school and I'm pretty sure a lot of fucking other girls have you know if you want to take out your anger on a bully that you remember from high school in the comments feel free to do so we'll hear you out yes with girl. The comments. if you guys ever need advice with any like bullying please DM us we'll be here for you so we really want to spread positivity I know we've been getting a lot of negativity but we try to not pay attention to that mm -hmm. we just really want it to be a very positive channel sometimes we joke around but that doesn't mean we're being negative like if I say your mom's a hoe I'm joking around <laughs> it's flying away <laughs> flying taco oh I'm so I'm such a little kid <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little kid away I'm, I'm gonna turn to Madison yeah. I know because before he went in for the kiss, he was like, yeah, yeah. I can't do it no more. <laughs> he was like, we gotta thicken you up. I'm thickening her up for you. So he's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> Look, we still have a whole box. I have a whole box of tacos to get to her. We gotta thicken her up a little bit. <laughs> I'm so freaking pissed. I wanted to go with Bully Bitty. <laughs> Damn, Elsie played me, calling me a viejita. I saw this on her dresser, and I remember when I wore this perfume, she said I smell like viejita. <laughs> and now I see that she bought one. Bitch. No, <laughs> Bitch. But now you smell like a viejita with me. <laughs> uh, I have no new one. No, but I swear to God, it smells exactly <laughs> like, like the original one. Oh yeah, because this like, is a new one. Yeah, this is the new one. It's the new Dior perfume. Go get it. It's so the original one, the the like first one that came out, it's not exactly like it. I, I probably got used to um My the, viejita scent? the señora scent. I was I'm trying to be a señora too. <laughs> but smell it. It's most exactly the same. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, smell no? it. No. Go smell that one. Yes, it does. And then smell this one. Yes, it does. No, I swear yours no. smells different. Like viejita? It smells. It smells alright. <laughs> Pish white <my> light. <laughs> it smells alright for a senora. <laughs> it's because I don't know. I feel like a bougie old senora when I wear it. I no, know. yeah. Like oh, the, like the perfumes she wears, they all smell like high end. Like, senora perfumes. <laughs> like Joanna the Scam perfumes. Yeah, like I'm Caucasian. But I'm bougie. Like. That's what Joanna the scammer says. Yeah, that's exactly what her perfumes smell like. No, but I'm not talking about the original number five perfume. I have the number five low. I have the new one. The original one smells like more like Senora. Oh, no like, way. Like, if you think that one smells like Senora, the first one that came out smells like Senora. That one, Ooh. apesta, like. <laughs> apesta a viejitas ricas. Con dinero 
y mucho, mucho pito. <laughs> And that's exactly what her perfume oh smells like. God. It smells I like. Did. Soy una señora con dinero. Muchas joyas. Uh, what is that? Oh, jewelry? jewelry con, yeah, con muchas joyas. Joyas. Joyas are like pots and pots. Oh. <laughs> y las señoras dicen plata o plomo. Oh, yeah. But anyways. I think we Not that she's done roasting me. <laughs> But anyways, we are going to close up this video. This video definitely was not what we wanted to film. But we couldn't wait today because both of us have really busy schedules. So it was either today or into next week. Like literally, like it was either we filmed today or we filmed into next week. So this is what we could do at 11 p.m. Oh, it's probably like already midnight. Oh yeah, it's about to be midnight. But I hope you guys like this video. And before we do end this video, Alondra is going to pick the winner for the $100. And if you guys do want to enter for this video to win $100, all you guys have to do is comment, like, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications to be notified every time we upload a new video. And then like we said before, to make it easier for us, um, just go ahead and comment down your PayPal address. And do not, please, I'm only saying this for your safety and I'm concerned about you guys please do oh not comment God. down your address we I, mean PayPal address yeah. not your actual address people were commenting their actual address and I see like three of them mm, already I was like I'm scared for your life okay so the winner for this week's $100 giveaway is Ashley Morin we did not see your PayPal address so please DM at me or else <laughs> oh. so please me or Elsie and we'll send you your $100 girl thank you for all your support we love you guys everyone who has been supportive and positive we love you so much we will see you guys in our next video by the way whoever commented that I was annoying you monster hoe